If this is your first experience with route maps, have no fear because you're going to see they operate in a very similar fashion to access lists. Both route maps and ACLs arrive at a decision of permit or deny. Route maps give us power over the packets though beyond that simple send or don't send because in this lab we're about to hit, we could have three different requirements for three different labs. And actually in this lab we are going to have three different requir requirements for three different labs. And we couldn't really get this done with just an ACL because we are limited to permit or deny with ACLs by themselves. But when we tie them into route maps, we can do all kinds of things, including changing BGP route attributes. And if you don't know what those are yet, don't worry. Later in the course, you will definitely see them in action. Right now, though, let's get to the next lab. And it looks just a bit like our last lab. The only thing I've done is change the protocol uh, over on the 153 side. They're all running OSPF now instead of RIP. And for some, I'm sure, sinister reason, I have added an additional loopback to Router 2. So right now, let's check the live equipment and make sure that Router 1 has all those routes, and it indeed does. You see all three of them in the table. Let's hop back to the board for a moment because we have a list of requirements that our bosses have sent us. Uh, we have the first requirement is that route for Network 2, we want to double the default seed metric and set the route type to E1. For network 22, we want to keep the default seed metric and change the route type to E1. And network 222, we don't want to redistribute that route at all. We don't want 3 or 5 to even see it. And just one more thing, all routes redistributed into OSPF in the future should keep the default seed metric and the default route type. That ought to keep us busy for just a little while, don't you think? And the first step, of course, we know what that is. That's to identify each route or group of routes with an ACL. And what I'll do is write three of them. <clears throat> Pardon me right here. And I'll just do a 22 here. I should have done a 2 on that one, but that's okay. Doesn't really matter what numbers we choose. And we'll just double that one and make it 44. Now you might wonder why I put a permit here on the route that we're actually going to deny. And it's because it's actually the route map that's going to be doing the deny denying. We're just using the ACLs to identify the route and then the route map itself is gonna say, when it matches this ACL, here's the action to take. And we're going to jump right into our first route map. And I'm going to call it RIP to OSPF since we are going to apply it to route redistribution. And we have a sequence number that we could put in. And we have a deny and permit. So we're going to permit here. And let me use iOS help there. You can see you set the sequence number. I'm going to go with tensies. And let's look at our options right here. And all kinds of things here. Continue, default. We can put a description in. I do like that. Those of you who got your CCNA with me, you know, I like those comments. And what we're going to work with primarily in route maps is going to be match and set. And we can, we're going to match, and let me show you the values here. It just says match values from routing table. Well, as you can see, there are quite a few values we can match on. And you do see BGP mentioned here probably more than any other command we've looked at to this point in your NA or NP studies. And the key here is we're going to be matching on access less. So do you see anything there that says access list or even begins to describe an access list? I don't see one either. So what we'll do is go with match IP. And we see address, next hop, and route source. That all sounds good. But um, we say to address, we're kind of matching an address. We're matching the address named in the ACL. And I was teasing you because this is exactly what you want to do. The first time I went in here with the route map, and it probably you know, it won't happen to you because you've seen this now, but you think, okay, I'm going to match against an ACL. And you run match and then iOS help, and then you're looking at this list up here and just thinking, okay, I see all kinds of BGP stuff I haven't done yet, a BGP NLRI type, but I don't see anything about an ACL. When you're going to use an ACL on a route map, <clears throat> pardon me, just use match IP address and then as you see the number or the name. So to match here we want match IP address 1 and now I'm going to do my set commands. 
And here are plenty of values, as you can see, that we can set to the route that matches IP address one, or in this case, ACL one. Again, a lot of BGP stuff in here. We're leaving that alone for right now, but we do have a metric here in the middle of it. Metric, metric value for destination routing protocol. That's what we're gonna use. We're also going to change the metric type. So if we're changing two values on one match, can we use more than one set statement? Let's find out. Let's go ahead and do a set metric. And that's a pretty big value, or metric value, or bandwidth in kbits per second. That's why the value is so big. Now, we were asked for this particular address to double the seed metric. So that's a good exam practice question because, because of course, it's what I call a two-in-one question. Because how can you double the default seed metric if you don't know what the default seed is? We know it's 20 with OSPF, so we're going to set metric to 40. And no, nothing else there we're really going to use. So... There's the first thing we're going to change about that particular route. And let's see if we can set another, uh, another set and see if we can set another value. It looks good so far. and We do want type 1. You don't want to choose external internal here or on an exam, hint, 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 because those are for IS to IS. Uh, we want type 1 and type 2, which as we can see is OSPF. And we just go type 1. And we didn't get any warnings. So, so far, so good. So we've set one, uh, we've matched against one ACL, ACL1, that matched network two, and we're saying for network two, I want you to set the metric to 40, and I want you to set the metric to type one. Now we want to put in a route map clause where any traffic matching, matching ACL22 just has its metric type changed. That was the requirement. So we just simply go, route map and actually you do have to do the route map here rip to OSPF permit and I'm going to pick 20 and this time I'm matching against ACL 22 so it's match IP address 22 and I'm just changing the metric type on this one so it's set metric type type 1 we just did that and we're good that's it that's all we have to do now the requirement for the third one was to just deny it and again, with the ACL, when I created the ACL, that was a permit line. Because all I'm doing with that ACL is identifying the route to be denied. I'm actually going to do the denying right here. And I'm going to do that with route map rip rip to OSPF deny 20, excuse me, 30. And... Now all we have to do is match on the IP address. And that's it. I don't have to do a set because I'm not setting a value on that particular route. I'm actually just denying it. So really, everything looks good. You know, we've done exactly what the three requirements were. The first route has its uh, seed metric doubled and its route type changed. The second network, network 22, had its route type changed. And then finally, we're denying the other route from being redistributed. But it seems like we had just one more thing we needed to do. And that's the future routes. What we need to do here, if we just want to leave them alone, because we were told, okay, leave the seed metric alone, leave the route type alone, just leave them alone. What we're going to do now is create what I, what I call a catch-all clause. And it's going to be applied to all routes that don't specifically match 10, 20, or 30, those particular clauses. So I will do a route map, rip to OSPF, permit 40, and leave it alone. No game, no match, no set, no nothing. So I've got a couple of interesting looking clauses here. I've got one that has a match, but no set. That's clause 30. Then clause 40 doesn't have anything. So an unusual looking route map. Let's go out and make sure the syntax is all good with show route map and this lets you go right down the line I love this command because it shows you the name of the route map you're looking at shows you each one is permit or deny what the sequence number is what the match clauses are what the set clauses are if policy routing was involved we'd be doing we'd see some numbers there with the packets and the bytes and it's perfectly legal as we see for that last clause match clauses none set clauses none 
So now that we've written it, there's only one way to test it, and that's going to be to do the actual route redistribution, and we will do that at the beginning of the very next video.